with the Nerds of Color and huge fan of you both. The series is fantastic. Huge congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. So first, I want to start off by giving you the chance to sort of do a preview and an introduction to both of your characters. You want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. So Simon is a school brainiac who runs this gossip app where he reveals everybody's secrets and uh, is widely hated throughout the school. Uh, He kind of uses secrets as leverage for power over everybody. He's in a way he's a school bully, but um, he sees himself as the only person in his school who's, who's true to himself. And he doesn't like the fact that everybody else is so fake. So he takes it upon himself to reveal everyone for who they truly are. And, uh, and, and Jake um, is the, uh, he's the boyfriend of Addie, the, the princess of the, uh, of the, the detention squad. Um, he's somebody that is always, he, he kind of came into his own around junior high. And before then he, he wasn't nearly as, as popular as he is now. And he's almost become a, uh, a social status junkie in a way. Um, he, uh, he's, he's, he's very obsessive over, over his status and his popularity and, and everything just going according to plan. Uh, he and Addie have like the next 60 years of their lives uh, mapped out. And so I think that that can, you know, he, he's a little bit of a control freak, control freak in a way. And, and when things don't go according to plan, it, it, it can easily cause like a downward spiral with him. And obviously this is a series where lots of things go wrong and, and the entire high school is, 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 is shaken. Uh, and so the secret that Addie is hoping that Simon uh, doesn't reveal um, is something that, that could equally affect Jake as well. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what that is. And uh, the genre is such a fun one. I want to know what what is your favorite aspect of playing with that? It's a fun one for me to watch. And I have to imagine as you as actors, it's it's always fun. Yeah, it's especially fun being being the villain of, of the show. <laughs> um, I'd never been a villain before as well. I find a lot of a lot of times roles like this are kind of geared towards older men and like their 30s or something. So it was kind of cool and fun to be able to do that in a in a teenage sense. Yeah, I think that the thing that was fun for a lot of us and the thing that was most fun for me was, you know, everybody has secrets. So even in scenes where everything apparently seems fine, uh, you are constantly thinking on the opposite end of the spectrum of what if this person finds out? And what if, what if, what if I make a mistake? What if I say the wrong thing? But you have to wear this mask of positivity on the outside in a lot of scenes. Uh, so to find those moments where you can have a moment to yourself and just be honest on the outside uh when you pick and choose when to when to implement those those moments those reactions is really kind of kind of a puzzle piece and you need to be very careful with it and it was and it was fun to be accurate with that obviously it's it's based on a book so did you did you go to that source material to grab any inspiration uh not not really so much uh i i think that uh, i think that the excitement around this uh, this project is is obviously you know pretty pretty thick. Uh, there's you know there's the the fan base is 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 pretty uh, you know pretty wide and and pretty amazing and pretty passionate. So I think that a lot of people would rather not see something that is just a you know a direct you know chapter for chapter retelling. And I think I think that a lot of people are excited to still have you know quite uh, you know mysteries and and thrills thrown at them that they're not expecting. So. From a character standpoint, it was it was pretty easy to kind of start from the ground up, uh, but obviously there's you know there's there's traits from the characters that that have to be there, um, and getting those right was definitely a priority. Well, when I was when I was cast, I had a call with Erica, the writer, and Jennifer Morrison, our pilot director, and we spoke about how we were going to change Simon as a as a person a little bit as he is in the book. Um, so I did not read the book. I, I didn't want to go off source material that wouldn't be used. So uh, it was fun for me to kind of create my own version of Simon, which also for me feels more authentic to me as as a character in a show that you're not just kind of because we, we, we've changed some things in the show. So it's nice to to give people those surprises. Definitely. 
we want to surprise the the book readers as well. And I think that's especially with a mystery and all that. I want to give you both a little creative question as well. If you could create a tagline to describe the series, what would you make it? Keep your allergies to yourself. Oh, that's, yeah. There's no topping that. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's using yours. He's going to, you're going to do a joint one. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with keep your allergies to yourself. And that's completely original. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's I, I, it. I thought there was going to be more. No, no, no. That's completely original. I just came up with that. It's so much better than mine. Yeah. Why do you got to yeah. top me all the time, Mark? It just sounds better in my voice, you know? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Thank you both so much, Barrett. It was such a pleasure to speak with you again. And Mark, it was so great meeting you. Huge congrats. And uh, I can't wait for everyone to see the project. Thank Thanks. you. Good to see you again. Thank you. Good seeing you.